what is happening everybody so back at it with another vlog it's been a few weeks maybe a month since the last vlog but I'm gonna jump back on the old bandwagon um, so the Sun is shining it's like 30 degrees today or whatever it is I don't know but it is hot and um, me and the kids just me and the kids Katie's working she's filming in studio so it's just me and the kids all day the major is asleep fast kip it's nap time for her and Arthur's doing what six-year-olds do nowadays and watching YouTube on the phone um, so today we've just come down just been and bought some flowers come to see their brother so we're gonna go here haven't been here for a little while see him put some flowers down it's really difficult because trying to find flowers that the wildlife in particular the deer don't eat because of where Henry is there's all woods everywhere um, so there's loads of wildlife which is one of the things that we quite liked about it but it means that they annihilate your flowers unless you buy a particular type and I googled it before I came here and I couldn't find any of the uh, ones that they don't seem to like in Tesco so it's kind of like we're gonna put them down and then if we was to come back tomorrow it'd probably just be the stems left and all of the flower heads eaten but that being said it's pretty cool at least we're feeding the wildlife hey um, so we're gonna do that then we're gonna get a workout in at some point today so I'm gonna show you what a home bodyweight workout with minimal equipment looks like what I've been doing in lockdown basically um, and then we're gonna take it and just see where the day goes squeeze them in properly dark that one's not even in the water baby push it right down Somebody's gonna go get back in the car. I've not even realised she's been here. She'll still be asleep the whole time. Yeah. What have you been up to? Can you tell him what you've been up to? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. All we've been doing is just Where are we going next week? Cornwall. I'm going to Cornwall. Get your foot Cornwall. off that. Huh? Four more days. Four more days. We're going to Cornwall. And you can come along with us as you like. Yeah? You think he'll be there with us? Yeah. yeah He's always there with us. He is, yeah. We go. Yeah. What else? You told him about your wrestling figures. How many wrestling figures you got? I don't think you've been here since you've been sleeping in your own bed, have you? Or have you? I've been here once when I've been sleeping in my own bed. Have you? Did you yeah. tell Henry that you yeah, sleep well, in your I own bed now? When it was Easter. Remember Did when, you, was you sleeping in your own bed then? Yeah, remember you built a bed, uh, but um, uh, you were saying it was me. Yeah, but now you sleep on your own. Have you told Henry? All on my own. Who Henry. sleeps with you? Nobody. Who are? Uh, just Ben. Ben. But he's the only person that needs to protect me in the night. Yeah. Okay, so back now from being out pretty much all day. After we went to see Henry, we then went on to the park, we went to grab a coffee, you know, take advantage of that kind of 50% off government scheme, took the kids into the coffee shop, sat down, they had a, a bit of chocolate, I had a nice iced latte, and then from there we walked up to the park, took Arthur into the toy shop to kind of feed his wrestling figure obsession, so we went around, whenever we see a toy shop we kind of go in there to see if they've got any of the wrestling figures we haven't got and if they've got any rare ones in stock sometimes they do sometimes they don't today was a win managed to get one did mean that dad had to spend some money um but it's all good in the hood um so what i wanted to do now was take you guys through some some home gym equipment stuff okay so during lockdown a lot of people have been working out from home a lot of people have been asking me, you know, what's the best equipment and stuff to get. Um, and a lot of people now, I think, are even intended on working out from home for the near future. Okay, so I wanted to run you guys through some sort of must-haves if you want to invest in a little bit of home gym equipment. Cheap and flexible, effective gym equipment that you can use from home. 
Okay, so I'm going to run you through them. First of all, resistance bands. Okay, pretty cheap, very, very versatile. Lots of different things you can do with resistance bands. You can do a full body workout. You can kind of replicate pretty much any sort of move you'd normally do in the gym with resistance bands, okay? So typically, the kind of rule of thumb obviously is the thinner the band, the, the lighter, so you can see here, we've got um, a red one, black one, and then a purple one. I would say for most people, a red and a black, depending on where you're getting them from, but sort of the, the first two strengths are gonna be sufficient enough for what most people need to do at home. But you can pick up all three of those for probably 30 pound and that alone will do you for a long time you know I've got some clients this is all they have at home and we've managed to program decent workouts for them to do throughout lockdown next up hip circle absolutely brilliant piece of kit particularly for kind of how we kind of live our lifestyles nowadays we tend to sit down a lot more be a lot more sedentary therefore um, this is just great for activating your glutes, getting your glutes stronger, which are gonna have a huge impact on your lower back, core strength, and all that kind of stuff. So again, this one's bare grip. You can get it on Amazon. I think they're like 9.99 Amazon Prime. Great piece of kit. I would highly recommend everybody gets one of those. Next up, we have a TRX or human suspension trainer. This one isn't actually made by the brand TRX, this is called the Human Trainer, but essentially they're all the same thing. Um, again, a very good versatile piece of kit. You can either hang them from a tree, hang them from, like if you've got a solid beam in your garage, you can drill into the ceiling, hang it from there, um, or they come with like door anchors that you literally open a door, thread that over the top, shut the door again, and then clip it onto there. So. Again, very versatile. I don't know how much one of these are. I bought this a long time ago. I'd probably say like 30 quid. You could probably pick one of these up for. But again, body weight training at home. Great piece of kit. And you can store this, like the resistance bands and everything, can store away really easily as well. So, so far, we've probably spent about 80 pounds and got a pretty decent home gym set up there. Next up is some kind of kettlebells or dumbbells um, like ranging in a couple of weights so you normally want like two maximum three different types of weight something that is quite light for um, you know smaller muscle groups and, and exercises that are a bit more difficult um, things like shoulder exercises stuff like that a lighter weight um, say like 10 kilograms and then you'll probably want the next one up maybe at like 15 kilograms and then something a little bit heavier around 20 22 kilograms okay there's quite a, a decent range there dumbbells are going to be a little bit more expensive than the other stuff um, and kettlebells but again they've they're versatile there's a lot of different things you can do with them and if you've only got two or three they're not going to take up much space so so far if you're saying you're going to buy three dumbbells and all of that other stuff that I've mentioned so far, you're probably looking at under £200, I'd say. Maybe just over. Maybe. Slam balls. These are awesome for a great piece of cardio kit and getting your heart rate up. Slam ball. I think, again, they're, they're reasonably cheap. That's a 9kg one there. I've got a 12kg one as well. Again, I think the pair were less than £30 for the pair. But awesome way of getting your heart rate up, getting you out of breath, throwing them into the little circuit at home. They're just another great piece of kit to have at home. But make sure you buy a slam ball and not a medicine ball, because medicine ball will bounce. Slam ball, the whole idea is you slam it into the ground and it doesn't bounce back up. So it's just constant movement, you're using your whole body. It's just a great piece of kit to add to your home gym. Something that I've purchased recently, but not I wouldn't say this is as essential as some of the other stuff. Um, you might consider it a little bit more expensive for what it is. This was about £120. It's a weight vest, bulldog gear. Um, it's like a tactical sort of vest. Just literally slip it over your head. 
do the straps up round and it, this weighs 10 kilograms I think so it's got a plate in the front, plate in the back, weighs 10 kg in total so it just adds on to you know if I'm doing squats I can put this on even squat with a kettlebell or the resistance bands it's just going to add an extra 10 kilos it's great for push-ups you can go for a run with it on if you want to make burpees even harder it's just a great way of adding a bit more weight to yourself to make the workout that little bit harder um, 10 kilo kilograms is a roughly around 22 pounds so you're looking at over a stone in weight that you're adding on with that vest to do a workout so it's going to make a difference again versatile piece of kit a little bit more expensive than some of the other stuff it wouldn't be my first choice of thing if I, could, if I was on a bit of a budget I'd definitely go out of the things I've showed you so far if you're on a budget resistance bands in my mind are the best most versatile thing for, for the money that you can buy okay so that is my home gym setup that's pretty much what I've been using throughout lockdown the um, weight vest and the medicine balls have actually only just got recently it's all been resistance band stuff and kettlebells and a little bit of TRX work but you can get a great home workout in and very varied with just that equipment and you're looking at around about 300 pounds in total for all of that stuff no more than that okay so you don't need a lot to get a workout in at home you know if you kind of progressed enough with your body weight and you want to make things a little bit harder invest in some resistance bands invest in a few other pieces of this kit and you've got something that's going to challenge you a little bit more add some variety make it more fun and just make it more interesting so that you're more likely to stick to it and do it which is going to get you the results feeding time at home now so we've got Mags loves it she's like by far so much of a better eater than Arthur ever was. She loves it. Toy Story constantly on at home. Toy Story for Maggie and wrestling for Arthur are the two things which are religiously on the TV. Okay, so that is a wrap for today's vlog. So I did a little workout, upper body, I did some chest, some rowing movements um, with the resistance bands to start off with, and then finished it off with a little bit of kind of cardio style um, training. So with um, resistance band pull aparts, did 10, then um, clean and press with a kettlebell. Um, 10 and then um, 10 ball slams then 8, 6, 4 repetitions on all of them and just get the heart rate up a, bit, a little bit but also some more strength element to it as well so you get a good pump at the same time but it gets you blowing, gets you sweating now I'm literally cooling off in front of the fan um, Maggie's in bed she's absolutely exhausted the sun I think has whacked her out today Arthur just about to put to bed then I'm going to have some dinner myself, wait for Katie to come home from work and then 
hit the hay myself. So hope you enjoy hope you enjoyed hope you guys enjoyed that vlog um, and I'll be bringing you more and I will see you guys in the next one.